So I know I've been MIA for a little while and um, I've just been pretty low key, but I'm here to tell you now that I'm breaking my silence. That's right. In the midst of this global pandemic, we have seen yet another act of police brutality. We have seen the murder quite yes, was murder of George Floyd. My heart and prayers go out to his family, especially his little girl, who I'm sure during all of this is seeing not only so many people in support of him and who are trying to raise awareness of racism, police brutality, and everything else in this country, I'm sure she's also seeing the negative aspect of it, which are people who are trying to justify his murders by saying he is a felon or he shouldn't have committed alleged crime or every type of horrible thing in the book. And to be perfectly honest, it's not fair. Words can't even begin to describe how disheartening this whole thing has been. I'm sure for them as well, but just for everybody in general, I know that I have had a difficult time with it. Um, that's why I haven't been able to get videos out to you guys, especially talking about fitness or talking about the bars. With everything going on, even with bar prep, normal day-to-day -day dealing with the pandemic as well, this whole thing has just been terrible isn't even a good enough word for it, honestly. I can't even imagine what his family is going through and because I'm sure they're getting so much negative feedback from every side. I know I've been arguing with people on the internet <laughs> for a little while and when it's about me, okay, if you guys want to call me fat, okay, that's me, I can take it. But I don't think I've actually really argued as much as I have these last few weeks just trying to get people to understand that this is more than just th this is police brutality at its finest and the worst part of it is not only was it caught on camera but this man quite literally murdered him we all saw it beginning to end I watched the whole thing and People have a right to be angry. People have a right to be upset. I know it's, this has not been the first case. We all know this hasn't been the first case. I really hope it's the last, but I know some people are saying that it won't be the last and that's what's scary and that's what's terrible. It's been exhausting to say the least. What's even worse is I've seen people, well, not seeing people, but I know the majority of people who have been arguing with me have been colleagues, even people who I considered friends argue with me about this. Worst part, yeah, it gets worse. <laughs> As if that wasn't hard enough, it got worse. Was I was arguing a lot about, about this with people of color. That, that's even harder. That was an even more difficult to more difficult conversation to have because I just didn't understand how they could still justify this after literally witnessing his murder and seeing that racism still exists that that doesn't that doesn't make sense to me I've seen people who have used
this Black Lives Matter platform as a way to discuss other other things <laughs> which makes it even more irritating mind you i am vegan but this is not the time to talk about veganism this is not the time to talk about animal cruelty i'm, I'm sorry unfortunately it, th th this is just not the time and i'm going to say it because again i'm breaking my silence i'm going to say it this is not the time and i hear other latinos who say the same thing where were all these riots when they when ice took those children and put them in cages don't get me wrong the black community was with us as well i saw it unfortunately and, and i will say this to my latino community the majority of us are not united as you can see this very clearly a lot of the latinx community either are for it or are against it mostly because they feel that it has nothing to do with them and even if it does have something to do with them, they're not going to do anything about it. They're just not, they're just not people who fight for the cause. But also by not at least understanding that this exists, understanding that this is a continuing problem, or even believing for a second that you're safe because it doesn't apply to you, is wrong. Instead of acknowledging the Black Lives Matter movement. I've seen people revert it to all lives matter to lessen the, the issue. And that, that again, takes me through a loop, I'll tell you. And I don't, I just don't really understand why people are still fighting this so hard the majority of people who are getting killed by the police, who are unarmed, are black people. The fact of the matter is, we, minorities, are not safe in this country. And I think it's very, very disturbing when I see people argue with me saying, oh, well, all lives matter. We know all lives matter, okay? That's a given. Problem is that all lives matter until it applies to black lives. Let's be honest, the, the, this all lives matter, you are fighting for this all lives matter just because we have a black lives matter. And let's be perfectly honest, what bothers you is the term black. All lives matter until it applies to immigrant children being thrown in cages, then that doesn't matter because apparently, according to you, we shouldn't be here. Let us not forget your ancestors who came to this country to escape religious persecution, to find a better life, to escape war. That's all that these refugees, these other immigrants are trying to do. The exact same thing. So all lives matter until it applies to them, right? Okay. All lives matter until women who stand up against sexual assault are silenced. And you give the excuse of, oh, they shouldn't have been wearing what they're wearing. Maybe they wore too much makeup. Maybe she shouldn't have smiled or been so attentive. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What I hear is justification, justification, justification. So again, it's all lives matter until. So not only are you trying to justify the reasoning behind something that's been terribly done, but sounds like there's also a condition all lives matter, but black lives. All lives matter, but immigrants. All lives matter, but women who have been sexually assaulted. All lives matter, but. So I ask you, do all lives really matter? I don't think so. Why are you fighting so hard for all lives matter when clearly not all lives matter? 
I never thought that I would even have to have this discussion on my channel. It's actually pretty disheartening to see some of my favorite YouTubers not really even talk about this. I don't know if they're afraid or what. Some of my favorite artists, actors and actresses who don't speak out about this, again, is also disheartening because they're not using their platforms to spread awareness. They're not using their platforms to help. I've seen some of them do, and congratulations to those who are out there protesting, donating money for, for bailouts, constantly bothering our congressmen to, to inflict change. Okay, but I, I, can't, I can't lie and say that I'm not disappointed the amount of people who I thought would be for this would not be the amount of people who I thought were my friends and were with me with this cause or not. As you saw, I did attend the protests. I did march and it was very peaceful. That was in Orlando. And I really have to say that, you know, thank you that nothing happened to us and we did not experience, at least when I was there, tear gas and rip of bullets, as I've seen how police have acted to other protesters in other cities. I can no longer be silent. I can no longer be fearful of other people fighting with me about this issue or leaving hateful comments. I'm not going to stay quiet because I'm afraid of what this is going to do to my image or how people are going to react when I'm speaking out against an injustice. Funny thing is also, is the fact that I remember going to movies, you know, watching movies like Selma, hate you give and people would say in the theater never forget it if i was there i would be fighting with them if i was there i would do this that and the third if i was there if 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 well the time has come where are you we're trying to end police brutality we're trying to make this country great we're trying to have equal rights. You would think, you would think that after all this time, we wouldn't have to fight for something like that. And yet here we are. I'm a first generation American. That means I'm the first person in my family to be born on American soil. Both of my parents are immigrants. I know that they did not leave their own country to encounter more injustice, more hate. That is not the reason why they came to the States. They came for a better life. They came for equality. They came for justice. So why are we still fighting for it? How is it gonna be better if we don't stand up for what's right? How is it better? I, I really wanna know, how is this better? There's such a division in our country that our whole president doesn't even know how to address it. He's hiding in a bunker and built a whole wall around himself. What kind of leader does that? And for everyone who's gonna start, if you don't like it here, leave. This is my country as much as it is yours. So I intend to stay and fight for what's right and make it better. I'm not going anywhere. If you don't like it, if you don't like being open up to the systemic racism and injustice that is America, 
then you can leave. So I'm not going to be silent. I'll continue to advocate for justice and equality. That is one of the main reasons I, I went to law school. I want to become an attorney to help make things better. I'll continue to work hard so I can start helping others. I will continue to stand with my black brothers and sisters and I will continue to fight with them. This isn't over and this is not going to go away. And for those of you that are afraid, hateful comments or afraid of arguing with people, turn your comments off, report them, whatever you need to do, but stand with us. This isn't a hashtag, okay? This is more than that. This is a real life civil rights movement. This is change and it starts with you. If that still isn't your thing to go out in March, okay. Here's how you can help. You can also boycott major corporations that have uh, donated Trump's reelection campaign. I'm sad to say that I will no longer be going to Chick-fil-A, but must be done support black owned businesses. I will put my Instagram info down below so you can follow my page and see all the updates that I've posted and see which restaurants that you may um, support. Support black owned makeup, support black owned businesses in general is my point. Voting come November 2020, realize that this no longer needs to be an issue and exercise your right to vote. I know you may think that your vote doesn't matter, but it really does. And again, follow my Instagram. I post updates every day of how we can help, um, petitions, signing petitions. I'll also um, on my Instagram post links as to the how which petitions to sign. There are ways to change if you don't want to go out and march. And I know fo moving forward, I will continue to post videos about fitness, about law school, about the bar exam, about different things. But I want you to know that that doesn't change my focus. And that doesn't mean I've forgotten. This is an issue that's not going to go away. We will keep fighting because no one should have to educate their children to fear the police, the police who have been sworn to protect them. No one should have to fear that. No one should have to apologize for the color that they were born into. No one should have to fear being thrown in a cage. There's so much, so much needs work in our own country. But I know that we can do it if we stand together. This probably sounds like a weird after school special, but you know what? This is the truth. And like I said, just because I will be moving forward and post different content on my page does not mean that I have forgotten.